Hello, guys, and it's the Welcome to another episode of Tales of Rise here on Images of Gaming. And we are going to continue our playthrough here as we head towards the Southern Gate. Isn't this an amazing map? Hello! Here. You all arrived here from yeah, so slow, map, yes? Slow. In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through. Yeah, we're ahead of there. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? Oh, the thing. I hope this place survives without us. You think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't uh, really do much to change things around here, in our did world. we? If, yeah, him, uh, this realm had its own walls to overcome, say, and in the end, not. it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going, I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Wow. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. I'm thinking about just putting everyone back to their original outfits because all the uh, DLC outfits and stuff and whatnot. But... <laughs> Just make them look like weirdos most of the time. Like the uh, Asuna and Karito outfits are cool, but like the other outfits. Did you come to you say goodbye? The DLC, the other DLC stuff. Are Actually, so I was dumb. wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. I might change These people could use you. I thought the much the same thing. The However, the game in the end, something but changed right my now, mind. Since like, Ever since, since, since Miguel died, reason. I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Nagal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So? I have, and hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. Look, kind of like on your head, I kind of want to. I'm this. grateful to you. I truly am. <laughs> I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part. That you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, 
But for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a lord anyway. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. You befriended Kassar. I'm gonna do recipe. I'm gonna do recipe. I got a new skill panel. I got a trophy. Okay. Where are we going now? Go to Mahagsa. First, I'll hit this. I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elderman and Sia Guard. So, in a way, using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. Ooh. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on I me. I mean, you can't deal damage, but you can still take damage, dude. What was Kelzalek even after in the end? Being Isn't it pawn. obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dokalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the Crown Contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt, even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <laughs> speak the truth, girlfriend! I know I have the giant Zugo If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Like something, I believe. I see someone who looks troubled about something. A little compassion. Hmm? Uh oh, Lord Darling! What brings you here? Hello. Oh, nothing in particular. We're simply passing through. We are quite the distance from the capital, however. Are you in need of assistance? Well, yes, I've been having so many huh. troubles. Hmm, how curious. You shouldn't be seeing any more of them out here since the soldiers cleared them all out. The little ones have kept away, yes, but this big Zugo showed up recently. That's been causing me no end of trouble. It looks like a giant monkey, I guess you could say. It looks 
to blow these huge gusts of wind that wreak havoc on our crops. That sounds like quite serious. <sighs> problem. I, I apologize for troubling you with this, my lord. I promise to still fulfill the palace's order somehow, but we'll see what we can do. Huh? What? You should do that for me, my lord? But of course, how could I possibly ignore a citizen standing before me who is quite clearly in dire need of aid? Aid. You said it was a huge simian zugu that knows how to manipulate the wind, yes? Very uh, let right. it be, Kisara. Time to go get myself killed. There we go. Looks like it's up here. Shoot. Can't just jump over that. Oh, oh come on. Oh, I can talk to you. Cool, I talked to that person. Is that it over there? like it that is one enormous stray yeah this must be it kind of want to get out of our way elusive deity simian i can feel you where you stand can you see it astral energy full right. throttle full off. exploit the enemy please weak. take out full throttle Oh, 
Thank you. Can't get out of this. I just want to see what hit. Got an astral flower. Trapped in darkness, pierced by light. Hmm. Good. Oh, I, I was, I'm supposed to be saying this. Stuff. Yes, indeed. We also remove the zools in the surrounding area. This should hopefully allow you to go about your work more of these. Oh, thank you so much. Wait, your face. My lord, did you get hurt in the fight? For, nah, it is a small price to pay for my part. If it means my people are relieved of what, of that which is. <laughs> my lord, I don't know what to say. I should work ever harder and then ever in the fields to repay you such kindness. You need to do more than it. you already are. If anything else troubles you, please do not hesitate to call on the palace for its assistance. Yes. Yes, my lord. Thank really you. Now. I've got a feeling you're going to have to, a long line of people waiting to see you once you are back in the vicin. Yay! Alright, I think I might do a thing like I did in uh, Ghost of Tsushima playthrough where I uh, make every video a quest. Like finish after I finish a quest, I end the video. After fin I do a quest, I end the video, and make the videos uh, the quests, and that'll be it. So some videos will be really short, some will be longer, because some of the main quests once go uh, multiple, go much longer than the side quests do. But since I just finished that side quest, uh, I think I'll finish that here and leave it at that, and I'll see you later.